Look at the design that you plan to draw. First, find the center of your design. I used a yellow line. Next, find the intervals between the support beams. I've drawn this in red. We can see there's a difference between the Pratt and the bowstring. The Pratt has six intervals while the bowstring has seven. I used green to mark how many beams there are touching the bottom. In the Pratt there were seven, while in the bowstring there were eight. I need this information next. I need to calculate how many millimeters of support beams I will use. I have seven support beams, so that is three times seven. It's 21 millimeters that will make up the support beams. I have to deduct this from the bridge amount. My bridge is 250 millimeters. I deduct the 21 millimeters for the dowel thickness. And that gives me 229 millimeters. This is the maximum amount I can now use for the intervals. Let's calculate that. That gives me 32,7. I'm going to discard the comma 7. In other words, my intervals should be 32 millimeters between the dowels. When I look at this design, I can see there's an upright beam in the middle. So I need to make sure I start from here. The dowel thickness is three millimeters. That means one and a half millimeters to the left, one and a half millimeters to the right of the center guideline. Now I measure from that dowel line, 32 millimeters for my interval. I draw a new three millimeter dowel. I do this on both the left and the right hand side and continue to repeat this pattern to the end of my bridge. At this stage, I'm only drawing the upright beams. I am not yet adding in the top. Remember, all of these lines are guidelines. We will darken later. Let's have a look at the bowstring. It's slightly different. Number one, it does not have a dowel support in the center of the bridge. And this will make some differences in your drawing. Calculations are also slightly different. See example. My intervals are 32 millimeters, so from the middle guideline, I have to measure 16 millimeters in each direction. This is where I then draw in my 3 millimeter dowel thicknesses. Then I add the 32 millimeters interval and draw another dowel. I repeat this pattern on both sides of the center line. At the moment, I'm drawing only guidelines. We will add the top of the side view in later. If you've got an arch, start from the middle and then estimate where the arch have to go. Use your judgment. If you did not use equilateral triangles, you can use the width that you had for the bottom view and duplicate it for the height of your side view. Please watch the next film for instructions of how to create your top view.